Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial. Today we're taking a look at removing a background using the magic wand mask. We're going to take a look at it using this landscape image here. Go ahead and select the photo and click Edit Bitmap. This will of course bring up Photo Paint. Make sure that you select your image, click Object, Create from background if you haven't already to make sure that it's highlighted and that we can remove this background to transparent instead of having it be white or black or whatever the fill color is if you want to have an image with a removed background to use for another part of the project. The tool that we're looking for is right over here underneath where it says rectangle mask by default there are a number of tools we want the magic wand mask you can also just click W on the keyboard you have uh, the tolerance option and this is essentially the range of color from where you select to be other colors that are like it to be selected as well so you don't have to do it where you're clicking and clicking and clicking selecting more and more and more you can actually collect bigger swaths but let's leave it at 10 that's the default we'll take a look and see what we get so I click that and you'll notice that I get a pretty decent section of the sky this section I could click here and that selects and again click here and that selects you can see that depending on where you click you get a little bit different effect and again you could simply start hitting delete and removing the background and clicking delete clicking and delete but let's take a look at what happens when we bump up the tolerance this time I'm going to jump it up to 30 now if you've seen the color transparency video you'll notice that this is the same image and we've selected the tolerance of 30. In that video, when we selected the blue, we got a lot more than we wanted. We got a bunch of stuff down in here, and a bunch of the rocks were removed as well. So let's take a look and see what happens with the magic wand mask using a tolerance of 30 in this image. You'll notice that a vast majority of the sky has been selected, and nothing down here has been selected. And that's part of the beauty of the magic wand tool is that it selects a continuous area. It doesn't select just all of the color in the image. It selects it based upon the area which you've selected. So I can delete that, select the other area, and I can delete that. And then I can take the mask off and you can see the result. And you'll notice that, again, none of this lower area has been removed, nothing inside here, because this is a continuous edge where the sky was, and that's where we made our selection. So the magic wand mask has the benefit over the color tool in this instance because it has a more of a distinct edge or outline of the area that you're looking to select. Now again, if you're depending on the project, uh, you have to select the right tool for the job. Here is a different image, and again, this is straight from the other video as well. I uh, hate to be redundant, but this is a good contrast between using the color transparency tool and using the magic wand mask going to set my background and in this case I'm going to select the blue up here again with a high tolerance and you'll notice that it doesn't select any of this blue here and doesn't select any of the blues in between here so if I want just the top part removed this would work great but if I had to click through each of these sections to remove it that would be a pain and you know so this is a case where if an image like this you wanted all of the sky removed color transparency would make more sense whereas in the previous image of the landscape the magic wand mask makes more sense and here's the third image we're using in our comparison now this is something that's a little bit different because your eye visually may not see exactly what the computer is seeing so let's take a look I've got the the image in I've got the background object set I'm selecting the magic wand tool and I've left the tolerance high just like our other two images now understanding that it's supposed to only select an area that's continuous I'm gonna select in here and I'm getting a very strange effect here you'll notice that I am seem to be selecting a lot more than I wanted to and you have to remember that with the tolerance set as it is it's now picking up and it's sort of assuming again it's a computer evaluating pixels not a human that can see the subject from the background that uh, all of this is in fact the continuous area so again, this is using the right tool for the job uh, based upon what your needs are. Thanks again for watching this Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial. 
Today we learned about you removing a background using the magic wand mask.